<laughs> oh my god. Wow. So, I'm gonna show you. I mean, this is incredibly deep. <laughs> I am up. I mean, how do you think that's two feet? More than that. Oh yeah, I mean you're you're place. almost six foot tall. It's three feet easy. Yeah, so we'll show you what the snow dog. I'll drive this through. Awesome. Show what it can do. I'm sure I might get a little stuck, but this might be a test of getting it stuck and showing how easy it is to get out of places where the snow is so deep that even a snow machine would struggle to go through. Yeah. So you can see, even how deep this, how incredibly deep it is, it just floats right over the top. It's, I mean, you rarely get stuck in it. If you do, you can see I almost missed it there with the sled being so slippery inside. But I mean, you just hop out of the sled. The snow dog will always be able to gas itself right out. It, I mean, you never have really many problems. So it's pretty cool I can go through. This is one example. That's awesome. So now I'll show you, as you can see, there's a bunch of little trees in here. What's awesome is snow dog being only 24 inches in width, anywhere you can walk, pretty much you can drive a snow dog through. So I'll kind of, my brother Gabe will videotape me and I'll just drive around all in these trees, get an idea what you can really go through, how maneuverable it is and you can just fit down any trail no snowmobile could ever go down. Also, we're at the knee, easy. And it's not, there's no crust layer to ride on top of either. So it's all just powder even, just walking that far. What, 20 feet if that? I mean, it's, it's a workout just in and of itself. This machine makes it easy. We're out here on an old logging road, untouched snow, but you know, no one's even been on it. Just give you an idea how deep it really is. So I am, there's still even snow below my foot. I'm easily at my knee. I'll show you what the snow dock can do, even in the deepest snow where you're gonna find, we're up here in Northern Minnesota. And this is a lot of snow we've gotten this year. And 
We usually don't get much more than this and this still has no problem going through it. I'll do a little video of me just driving around, I guess. I don't know. Head so deep that's even getting up on the side to the snow dog and the sled the snow top is pretty much going over the sled so it ends up filling up with a little bit of snow but that thing just goes goes through about anything the snow dog it doesn't have the thickest paddles so you have plenty of torque to keep the track spinning we're going to get in this deeper stuff that track will start to slip, but once you have that initial trail set, you can go as fast as you want because that snow, get, all the air gets out of it and compresses when you drive over it. And it's a lot easier to drive on that track versus this virgin ground. Um, what's nice is when you get that ground set, you can come back and even if you get six inches of snow, you already have that base layer. So you just drive on top of what you already driven on and it does it like nothing. Just leaving around, baby. Here we go. Crick. Crick ride. 1.0. On the snow dog. Let me see how these things can just sneak through the brush. Throw it on a backwards crick. Awesome. Hey! No! <laughs> what came off? I don't know. Maybe I just, uh... It's okay. We could tie him in. I got a rope in my pocket. I got a game back there. Setting some ski... Ski tracks in. So the guys are, uh... <clears throat> so you see that pine tree? I have a trail that goes from there cuts across this creek kind of goes over to those pine trees over there or over there so what we're looking to do is we have a huge plank like an industrial plank um, that was going to be thrown away my son's a lineman <clears throat> so we brought it up here it's good for making little bridges across these creeks you can see the guys kind of went in, the creek opens up right there. So this is the end of our creek run, but we're pretty sure that we've made it up to where we have a trail that crosses and we'll be able to bring the plank up here, get it close to situated by the creek here. So when we come in the spring, we don't have to carry this thing's probably 300 pounds. Still have to carry it a little bit of ways, but I think this snow dog's gonna get us there plank up here. Wow. That's deep. Worked so long. <laughs> huh? Wow. So he's making a whole new trail. Busting through this knee knee deep snow. <laughs> Do you have a place to turn around over there? Yeah you just make one. <laughs> it turns so sharp it doesn't really <laughs> Dave's got the hammer wings. It's really used to uh, pull deer out of the woods. 
full strap over here. Got him. Yeah. Here's our deer. Yeah. It's lighter than a deer, so it should be okay. <laughs> this is so cool. So. There we go. Dave's going to tow the log for the bridge. Tom's going to tow me. Tow me. Alright. I got the easy part. <laughs> Bingo! Beautiful. I made it. Just ripped over everything. This is like nothing. <laughs> that like. That's so These cool. things are a beast. And you are going on touch ground here, driving, pulling this. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't care. Fresh. <laughs> I actually powder. It's like how much weight is it putting deep. on this pin, right? You gotta look and see. This thing's not light. Yeah, and him on the sled. Too. And we're just a bogging in the middle of that. Sweet! <laughs> it's not, tis not light. <laughs> Set it up against one of those cedars right there. And yeah, that one. I think we'll know. I know where this, this patch is very prominent. There we go. Cool. I'll put a pin on Onyx and... Special delivery. Yeah. What's the charge? Uh, yeah. Is it Amazon deliver here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a three-day delivery. <laughs> yeah. Prime. Get it, Prime. All right. There it is. It's going to be our bridge across the creek. Throw a couple. rods in there to hold it down. Rebar. We're good.
actually slides really easy on the wood. Nice in there. trailer. I don't pick the bed liner out of his truck. <laughs> his little ranger. And so you can slide that thing in and out really easy. Got two snow dogs on there. Oh man, look at that. Oh. What's nice about these are compact. <laughs> I mean this is a what? Five Six by, five by eight. Five by eight. Five by eight trailer. Still room to put stuff in there. Yeah. You can still put your sleds and stuff in here if you want, but we just got the back of the truck. Bye. Thanks for joining us today. A little bit of snow dog action. Um, you probably see some more videos from up. This is up north of north <laughs> at the cabin. So when the kids come up and play, <clears throat> we'll do some more videos up here. So, anyways, everybody have a great day and. Thanks for watching.